Ino Reader is my favorite RSS syncing service, and I know there's lots of options out there. I'm not going to get into every single reason why it's mine of choice. I will say this is not a sponsored video. I'm just talking about a thing I like. And uh, this is a paid feature of Ino Reader, so it is going to cost you about five bucks a month or so uh, to get this if you'd like it. This is relatively in line with the other uh, paid RSS syncing services out there. But yeah, just getting that out of the way. Not sponsored. This is paid. Those disclaimers out of the way. I think rules are one of the coolest things and is the thing that really got me to pick Ina Reader in the first place. And I'm going to show you how to set it up today. So I'm going to go into my preferences and I want to set up rules, filters, and highlights. And so there's a lot here and I've got a couple already, but I want to show you how I create one first. So the context for this is WWDC, Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference, is kicking off in a day as of me recording this, and I want to set up a rule to actually just not see any Apple news in my feed uh, for the next like day or two. So I want to create a rule to block that. So I'm going to create a new rule, and so I'm going to call it uh, WWDC 2021, uh, and then I want to say when. So what is going to trigger this rule to kick off? So I can do new article in the account. That's everything. <laughs> uh, but I actually have a bunch of folders set up. I want to do a new article in folder. Uh, it's going to go through my folders, and I have one called Apple with a couple Apple feeds. These are mostly news feeds. Uh, so like Mac Rumors, 9 to 5 Mac, Mac Stories, these sorts of, th sorts of things are in there. If anything goes into that folder, uh, I can set conditions. So like if the con the title contains a certain string or uh, the author is a certain person or uh, there's pictures, video, that sort of thing, um, I'm actually going to say just everything. If it hits this folder, then I want to mark it as read. And so what this is going to do is actually just make it so it doesn't show as an unread article in my feed. And so when I view this in Reader on my iPhone, iPad, or Mac, or in the web interface, I'm not going to see that article as unread from anything in the Apple folder until this rule is turned off, basically. There's other things I can do. I can assign tags. I can ass add a star, broadcast it. Uh, I can send it to email. I can automatically send it to Pocket or Instapaper, stuff like that. I can send a push notification to my device. Uh, I can trigger a webhook. Webhooks are really powerful, so you give it a URL. And then uh, if I look at this, uh, it's basically going to give you some documentation and a full example. So it's basically going to send all of this to your feed. Um, so yeah, lots of, or to whatever uh, URL you give it. So Pretty advanced stuff there, but you can customize to your heart's content <laughs> uh, if you uh, do that. So uh, lots of power there. I actually just want to mark it as read. Uh, that's it. So save the rule. And there we go. So WWC 2021, new article in folder Apple. It's just going to mark it as read. Okay, so what are these other rules? So I have a couple other ones in here that you might find interesting that might uh, trigger some inspiration in you as to how you could actually use this. So a couple of interest are deal filter. So I follow a couple news tech websites, and these often do deal posts where it's like, here's the best deals today. And I hate these posts. I really don't care about them. So if I go into this one, I basically say when any new article hits my account, uh, and there's a whole bunch of different things you can do here, but uh, when a new article hits my account, if the title or content contains deal or deals, just mark it as red. Same thing as uh, the one I just made for WWDC for Apple News. Just mark these as red. I don't care about these at all. So get rid of those. Uh, so that one I really like for just filtering out the junk. Um, I can actually see a log. So I see two matches today. I can look at a log to see what has matched this rule. So deals, fears of foreclosure crisis. That's actually maybe a thing I didn't want to block. So maybe I could do, uh, let me just change this in real time. Uh, let me just do title contains. So if the article contains that, then it's not going to block it. But if the uh, title does, then it will. So that hopefully will actually be a little better filter. Uh, I also have games of interest. So I follow some gaming sites, but I don't care about all the news as much. And so I don't read all the articles. But if any of these articles mention these sorts of things that I really like, uh, then I'm going to assign a tag games I love. And then if I go to my tag section, I see games I love. And look at all these articles. So these are all articles that mention games that I really enjoy. So I can go here to see just the gaming news that I want to see. Uh, let's go in and show you one more. This one I think is kind of clever. So if you have any websites you follow where you only care about a specific author or topic or something, you can actually make it so that you only see things from those authors or topics or whatever you care about. So the New York Times has a RSS feed, which is great. But as far as I can tell, they only have one and it's for everything they post. And I don't need to see every single thing they post, but there are a couple authors who I do enjoy reading and want to see everything and want to subscribe to them. So if I go into this one, I can see when a new article in subscription, New York Times, 
if the author doesn't contain Ezra Klein or Kara Swisher, and I, if you want to dislike the video now, that's fine, <laughs> but this is what I want to see. Uh, so basically, if the author is anyone besides these two people, then market is red. And so that's, uh, you can actually see today has already matched 55 articles uh, that didn't get into my RSS feed because I don't actually care about them that much. I can go to the front page of the New York Times if I want to see, uh, just browse around, but that's too much for me to go through every day. So only if those authors show up, uh, you can do this for any website. You can do it across your entire account. Um, like, so for example, I could set up a new rule. So me, I could set up one for me. If any new article in my account, if the author contains my name, uh, then I can say, send a mobile notification uh, to myself on my mobile device. I can add a star to it in Ina Reader. And uh, let me go ahead and send an email to myself, right? And so I can go ahead and email it to myself. So basically, whenever I see an article in my feed that contains me as the author, then it's going to notify me on my phone. It's going to add a star in item reader, and it's going to send an email to myself that says, hey, you just got mentioned or you just wrote an article that showed up in your feed. Um, or I could do a uh, mention. So Tyler content contains Birchler. That's going to really blow out the st all of the stops if something happens. I actually don't probably want the star. I uh, don't need the notification, but I could do uh, send an email. So I'll get an email whenever anything that I'm subscribed to mentions me. So I'll actually just save that rule. Boom, there we go. So now I'm going to get an email whenever that happens. So that's how rules work in Ino Reader. There is more you can do with them, but hopefully this was a good overview as to how you can start using them, some example rules you could set up. And yeah, if you liked it at all, if you got some value out of it, I'd love if you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. I will see you here next time. Bye-bye.